Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to track contact form submission with its parameters on our Shopify website for Google Analytics 4 using Google Tag Manager. First, let's see which parameters are required for this event. So I would like to take you to GA4 document where we will get recommended events with its required and optional parameters for each event. If I click on this page info, then we will get an event named generate lead. If I click here, then we will see this event measures when a lead has been generated, for example, through a form. And for this event, currency and value parameters are required. So now let's start the setup. This is the Google Tag Manager account connected with my Shopify website. First of all, I would like to go to preview mode to see which events we can get on Tag Assistant tab when somebody submit the contact form on our Shopify website. So click on preview. Insert here your website URL and click on connect. Tag Assistant connected. Now I will go to the contact page and fill up this form. and then send our form is submitted successfully like you can see thanks for contacting us so now i will go to the tag assistant tab and click on continue on the left side menu we have an event contact from submit if i click here we will see the event name is contact from submit and we have all the information of the form like email phone number etc so now i will create a trigger with this event name so let's go to google tag manager and go to triggers Take a new trigger, trigger configuration and I will choose from here custom event and the event name will be exactly what we have gotten on this data layer. So I will copy it and paste here then I will entitle the trigger contact from submission then save. Our trigger is ready now let's create the tag go to tag section take a new tag tag configuration and choose from here google analytics and then ga4 event insert here your ga4 measurement id since i have created a constant variable for this measurement id i'm gonna insert that variable and this event name will be exactly what we have got on ga4 document so i will copy it and paste here now let's configure the parameters so click on event parameters and click add parameter to create fields i need here two fields like you have seen we just need here currency and value and the value of the currency parameter will be the currency code that i have on my shopify store and that is usd and for the value of the value parameters i will make it zero because you know there is no value for a form submission event because it's not like a product now let's set up the trigger go to triggering and choose from here contact form submission that we have created a while ago then I will entitle the trigger GA4 contact form submission. Then save. Our tag is ready. Now it's time to check if the tag is working properly. So I will go to preview again. And along with I will go to GA4 debug view so that we can see the real time data on our GA4 account. So go to admin and then from data display open debug view. Now I will go to preview and submit the contact form again. Our form submission is successful. Now let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue. You can see our J4 contact form submission tag is fired successfully. Now we should get this event on our debug view also. So go to J4 account. Here you go. This is the generate lead event. If I click here. You will see the currency parameters and then value like we have configured on gtm so now we can say our tag is working properly at the last step we must have to publish our gtm container otherwise the tag will not be working in the real cases so click on submit and give the version a name i will name it ga4 contact form submission and then publish so that's it in this video if you have any question, feel free to write down in the comment box. I will reply that as much as possible. And I am a top rated professional freelancer working on Fiverr and also working on Upwork with 100% job success. You can read my clients feedback of their satisfaction in these accounts.
If you need my services, you can place an order on this marketplaces. Otherwise, you can contact me on this WhatsApp number or on this Gmail address like you can see also below the video. So that's it today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel. See you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.